What's up, everyone? Michael Heath with Get Automating. And you know, have you ever been working in SharePoint? You've got your list and you need to do something with that particular item and you got to do it over and over and over again. Not great. Well, there's an automation for that. Don't be the one taking the specification from the customers and bringing them to the software engineers. Get Automating. Enhancing humans daily. All right, so what are you doing with that SharePoint list? More often than not, you're going in there, you're grabbing some details, you're moving some data around, sending it off to who knows who. After the second time, it gets to be repetitive. How can we automate it? Well, let's take a look. All right, before we begin here, a friendly reminder, what you're about to experience is only available in the default environment. My environment's retitled personal productivity, but this only applies to the default environment. All right, got to get it on. Let's kick it off. This one's gonna involve our recipe tracker we created a few episodes back. I've added in a few columns here, ingredients and instructions. And the idea here is that I'm gonna pick and choose specific recipes here to email out. I wanna select the item and move those along and, and send those out to somebody. So. Naturally, we're going to create an automation to do this work for us so that we're not copying and pasting and sending these items time and time again. So let's head on over to Power Automate. We're going to create an instant cloud flow and we're going to name that flow Recipe Emailer. Now, we don't want to manually trigger this flow. We actually want to scroll on down here and choose for a selected item. That's going to let us operate at the item level. So we're gonna pick our recipe tracker and we're actually gonna add some input here and that's gonna be email because who are we gonna send it to? Well, we need to specify and that's probably gonna change pretty often. So after we do that, we actually wanna get some metadata from the item and we're gonna come over here and type get item. And that's gonna allow us to choose the SharePoint item, not get items, but get item as an individual. And we're going to point it to that site address again. Now, the unique ID is actually going to be the ID for a selected item. So we know that once we select it, that is the item that we're working with. And then lastly, we're going to go ahead and send an email. And we're going to choose this send an email v2. All right. And in terms of the parameters, two, well, we're going to click on this advanced mode here. We're going to click our dynamic populator, scroll down. And we're going to grab our email. That's the email that we'll be prompted for. Subject. Let's go ahead here. Recipe four, title of the item. If we look here, this is our title. All right. And for the body of the email, I'm going to use a mashup of text and dynamic content. The problem is in the standard rich text format, it doesn't always play nicely in email. So I prefer HTML. And for this, I went out to Copilot and said, hey, give me a template for sending out a recipe email. And so I've got that right here, and I even got a little placeholder here for recipe titles. And so after that, I'm just gonna get my title. I'm gonna go down here to ingredients. I'm gonna use more to grab the ingredients. I'm gonna add my cooking instructions right here. And off we go, there is the recipe. And we can save that out. Notice the title of the email here. Let's head back on over to our development site and let's select spicy pork. Now let's go ahead and click this automation button and we can see right here we have our recipe emailer. What's it going to ask for? Well, you guessed it. It's going to ask for the email. Email is in and we're going to run the flow. And Boomswagon. We have our email right there. Title, ingredients, instructions. Now, the only thing that would sweeten this deal here is if we add an image of the spicy pork. That's for another day. Power Automate, working at the SharePoint list item level. It's got a gang of that. Check it out, experiment with it. Think about those actions that you have to perform on these items and get out there and get automating.